Welcome to the 8th Minecraft server video update. What you just saw was a really short uh, preview on what you are about to see in this video and if you identified anything and you liked it then just stay tuned and you will see it. So enough with the talking already, let's get started. The first thing I'd like to show to you is this new design for my city wall. I tore down the old one because it was looking like a garden fence rather than a city wall and especially uh, a city wall for a great or big city as Cargith. So as you can see here it's basically a stone wall with wooden frames and some uh, decoration and reinforcements made out of wood. And on top of the wall there is a way or a path with a roof on top of it. So uh, you are able to go one time all around the city of Cargith without leaving the city wall. So I will <laughs> make a really quick run through because uh, surrounding or um, yeah going one time all around the city on the wall takes like I think eight or nine minutes if you are walking at normal speed next thing I'd like to show you is this ship obviously um, it's a trade ship there used to be another ship at the exact same position. I replaced it because um, this one has a lot more details in it. So uh, as you can see here, there's a construction to load and unload the ship. And I really like uh, how this part here turned out to be. So it's like a, a staircase, a spiral staircase. And from up here you can steer the ship. Down here, this is the captain's room, but there isn't much interior yet. Well, to be honest, there's none. And down here are some beds for the crew and some uh, chests for the wares. Well, that's my lovely ship. In the vicinity of the large trade ship there is like another version of this ship, a little bit smaller. It's built in a similar style with similar elements, so I won't go into detail here. Well, here we are at the entrance of, to the old quarter, which I introduced in video update number 6. And I added some buildings to the uh, surroundings of the old quarter. So this is a solid building complex here, I really like how it turned out to be. Uh, but I won't take you to the inside and show you the interior because I kind of forgot doing it. Uh, but I kind of decided that you will forgive me. And I hope you will. Um, so what you just saw to the right was a kind of warehouse and there's some stables here. And let's go on. What you see here is a new design for a church and you may want to remember this style of building uh, because you will see it later on in the video on another building. So just a quick overview, as you can see there is not much built in the vicinity of the church. But uh, I relocated the cemetery um, in order to yeah, use the space for more important things. So I've got dugout graves here, memorials, usual graves, tombs, and so on. And I wouldn't want to be here at night time, except if I was joined by Dr. Peter Venkman. Then I would be kind of relieved. But without him, no thank you. So let's go to the inside of the church. This is just a regular church, so we've got benches and um, an altar and those things, I don't know the name of them, where you baptize babies in. Though you could like drown the baby in there. Well, next to the town square there used to be another bridge which connected one the one hill with the other, 
but I kind of replaced it and uh, used the kind of new style I'm, I'm building in. And up here there's a house on top of that hill um, with lots of detail in it as well. And yeah, it's much better than before. Over here is another bridge and of course uh, roads to connect the bridges with and this uh, road hasn't changed basically uh, it's still leading to the southern gates and there we are it's kinda not loading but anyways well, and just really short, this is another building next to the uh, town square and therefore to the uh, new bridge. Uh, it is a building complex with a water wheel inside and one part of the building, the right part, is um, the water mill and the other part is for living. Well, and it seems that I'm doing this next part every other month because I once again decided to tear down the cathedral and replace it because I didn't like the looks of it anymore. And this is why I made the whole cathedral look a little bit, and uh, by that I mean a lot more cargathy -er. So as you can see I got rid of the red bricks as a roof material and I used yeah, wood instead because it's just uh, looking better with the others uh, with the other buildings and there's a lot of detail um, in, in everything of the cathedral so of course I will take you to the inside and as we start our tour we will have to walk up these stairs and then we will reach the main hall um, as you can see there are three different parts where the benches are standing and there are stabilizing pillars and this um, stair construction next to the altar and what I try to do is to actually design the interior in a manner that it could actually be realistic so I, I thought about where do, do, do the pillars have to stand in order to absorb the forces and the, um, the pressure which the, the roof is causing and I'm no architect but I hope I accomplish that in a good way. <laughs> Well, and here's a small example of the details I put into it. So as you can see, um, there is not really a kind of plain space or surface. Um, there are these windows in the, um, in the roof and I used fences to bring in some detail. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Anyways, and what I really like a lot is this roof design and to be honest I needed a few attempts to get to this final version, but I think it was worth the effort. Well, and that's once again pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope I kind of inspired you to, to go out there and build nice things, to come up with new ideas or anything like that. So as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, do as you will, and I hopefully will see you next time.